Park, and for this one, I'm going to be reading Chapter 6 of Swan Lake Before the Ceremony. Okay, so, so far, she, um, Sione, Princess Sione has, like, welcomed the guests and is trying to decide which one will be her husband. Because, like, noblemen and princes came. Princess Sione, where are you? They're, he they're here for me. I can't let them know about you yet. I know of a good hiding spot. Really? Let's go. I support Aliotis as he holds me to a huge tree hollow. I didn't know this tree was hollow. My companions and I covered the entrance with leaves and vines. It's an emergency shelter we use. Well, it's pretty well hidden. Rest here. I'll lure them away. I'll come back tomorrow. No, Sunny, the nights are dangerous. You shouldn't. Don't worry, I'll be very careful, and I'll bring you medicine tomorrow. For your companions, too. The princes have had bows. They could be badly injured. I'll bring medicine for all of you. I thank you, Sunny. He lights a small candle. Where did he get the candle from? The gentle flame illuminates his face, but isn't bright enough to attract attention. He stares at me passionately. Ha <laughs> ha. Tease. Seeing the real sign for the first time has filled me with awe. I barely hear the voices shouting for me in the distance. In the dim candlelight, I stare deeply in Aliotis's eyes. Oh my god. <sighs> You're so charming, Prince Aliotis. How many hearts have you stolen before mine? Sighing. <laughs> the voices outside grow louder. I have to go. I'll see you tomorrow, my prince. Oh my god. Ah. I circle around and approach my pursuers from the opposite direction. I finally found you. Sine, princess. De I say the princess would be just fine, didn't I? My apologies, your highness. We are late. But yet he is honor. I, I was just a little lost. Oh, my dearest princess, it fills my heart with great joy to find you unharmed. Agreed. We've been looking for you all evening. How ridiculous. All of you fled at the first sign of trouble. Cowards. Shameless hypocrites. Cowards indeed. We cannot entrust Sine to any of you. Don't be unreasonable. Given the chaos, anyone would have reacted the same way. He's right. You country bumpkins don't know anything. What did you just say? I was fighting pathetic fools. What happened to the swans? I chased them away. I couldn't put another arrow, th arrow through their wings through. What a shame. Thank goodness. It's getting late. Let's return. Father will be worried. I'm not interested in hearing petty men argue. I need to get them away from this place as quickly as possible. Sine, I heard you were attacked by swans. That must be, that must have been terrifying. Oh, Sine, my child, you're safe. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have let you go into the forest with that rough bunch. It's fine, father. I was just a little lost. I'm sorry for worrying you. My, oh, my dear child, go get some rest. Actually, I have a request, father. Anything for you, my child. You're the best father in the world, of course. Now tell me, what would you like? I want to invite a friend to attend my coming-of-age ceremony. A friend, you say? I thought you thought all your friends have been invited. No, it's a new friend, but it's a very important friend. Is that so? Then I look forward to meeting your new friends. Thank you, father. After reassuring Mr. Oslin that I'm fine, I go to sleep. The next morning, I pack some supplies and medicine. Good day, Mr. Oslin. Can I go out again today? Impossible. You saw how dangerous it was yesterday. But the swans are my friends. They were, they were only attacking the mean men. Some swans are only animals. You aren't. You can't reason with animals. We're animals, dum dum. It's too dangerous. Period. You don't understand. They're actually, actually. They're just like us. I talked to them yesterday, and... Snowy was shot. It's all my fault. I have to go. I must take responsibility. I don't see how you're responsible, princess. It was the princes who shot the swans. They're, they were only they only went hunting because of me. I know you're worried, Miss Rosalind, but I have to stand by my principles. I will not abandon my friends. The sun is already setting. The princes have invited you to dinner. I'm just going to deliver some medicine. I'll be back before you know it. As for the princess, I have a ma I'll have a maid to decline the invitation. I may, I may not have as many chances to visit my friends in the future. Please, Miss Rosalind. <sighs> you have two hours, and I'll tell the king. Yes, ma'am, I'm off. And change your clothes. Got it. 
Okay, what do I need for this level? Simple and cool and clothes. Cool. Okay, there's this ribbon that you have to buy from the Pavern's, pavern's shop. And then, yeah. Okay, I think... Yeah, this is a required dress. So you guys should make this as soon as you get it. You get it from getting a perfect score in level 1-4. The shoes you get from getting a perfect score in level 2. Is this part of the game? Yeah, you would get this from encountering Odwin. This one you get from the Pavern Shop. Uh, never mind. I, mean, I just need to see. Oh, wait, this is another story, so never mind. Okay, you get this from reaching Goodwill with Aliotis. You get this from the Pavern Shop. With Miss Rosalind's blessings, I sneak out of the castle once again. It's getting late, but I can't wait to see my swan prince. Signy, is that you? Huh? Yes. Why aren't you resting in the tree hollow? I was making my way past the vines when Aliotis appeared up behind me. I still find it difficult to believe he is the white swan. I'm sorry for startling you. It's okay. Were you waiting for me? No, not really. I'm not used to how you look. It w but you definitely look better as a human. By the way, where are the sw other swans? I brought medicine. They've gone for a walk. They what? But it's totally dark out. There isn't even any moon moonlight. Don't mind them. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess it means they aren't badly hurt. What about you? How are your wounds? The bleeding has stopped thanks to you, Sunny. That's wonderful. You will be healed in no time with the medicine I brought. Thank you. I have something important for you. This is an invitation? A huge smile creeps into Aliotis' face. Thank you, Sine. I said I would propose at my ceremony, didn't I? Can't propose if you aren't there. Aliotis steps forward and wraps his arms around me in a tight hug. I thought he was injured. Oh, Sine. I don't know how happy that... Whatever. I... Oh, sorry. I got a little too excited. <laughs> a little too excited. Aliotis gently releases me. I notice that the huge grin hasn't left his face. He might be truly happy. Well, I should get going. I had two hours. I'll send you to the edge of the forest. No, you should stay where it, stay where it's safe. And the ceremony is tomorrow. Don't be late. I won't. I turn and head back, back towards the castle. I just can't wait. Okay, that's it for chapter 6. If you enjoyed this, you should subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and like this video. So bye for now.